and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on. For another donation deck here, we have some Grixis Reanimator. That's right, we had Sultai Reanimator yesterday, and I was really impressed with that deck. I, I think it, it played uh, very well. It felt pretty strong. Um, we went 2-2 two and two with the deck, but that's because of me. I made some mistakes. Uh, it was, you know, had, came, uh, had some difficult situations come up, and I took some wrong lines, and we ended up losing. But the deck felt very good. So now we have... Um, now we have Grixis Reanimator, another donation deck here. That this deck was built uh, by another streamer, I believe, by the Asian Avenger, as far as I know. Um, and uh, this one looks pretty cool. It looks less consistent than what we played yesterday, but we have some really powerful things that we can do in here with, um, you know, all of these these cards. You know, like we have just a ton of big threats here. You know, we got. As you can see here, just lots and lots of big threats. So we, we need to fill our graveyard, of course. So to do that, we got Stitcher Supplier, which Stitcher Supplier, I'm I'm uh, not sold on this card because this is this is a very weak card. It's basically just mill over some cards in your library. That's about all this card's going to do. Uh, you know, it can chump block. Uh, we can sacrifice it to our one Blood for Bones. Also, that's that's like ideal. Um, but I'm not I'm not sure if this is really necessary in our reanimator deck. But that's that's uh, what we're going to be finding out. Uh, this and rotting register. Both of these cards were cards that we didn't play yesterday in the Sultai deck, and so we're going to kind of see if you know if they are good um, in this version. Now rotting register, uh, you know, has the drawback of discard a card, which is not something you want to be doing. But this deck kind of takes that drawback and turns it into a strength where we can discard some of these big creatures uh, to be able to reanimate. The one kind of problem is we do have to keep hitting our land drops and get to, you know, like our five mana and have our bond revival and stuff. And if we're discarding cards all the time, that could be kind of tough. But the other, but, but uh, this is still a seven, six, <laughs> this is like a seven, a three mana, seven, six without much downside or maybe no downside. And our opponents are going to have to deal with it. Otherwise, they're going to die. And so if they're dealing with our Rotting Register, maybe that also opens up our Bond of Revival, too. So that'll be interesting to try out. Uh, definitely like Charter Course. And this card's just awesome. Tourney Voice, pretty good, too. Uh, good ways to, to get some big things in the graveyard and get some velocity through our deck to help us hit land drops and so on and find Bond of Revival um, and Concoct. This is a different one. So this also can just return creatures for five mana. They don't gain haste, though, like Bond of Revival does. But this also does get to surveil three to not only set up our next draw step, but maybe even put a big creature into into the graveyard from our library also. Um, so that's what we got. Let's give it a try. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how Grixis does and some of these new cards. All right, Grixis Reanimator. Uh, yeah, so Remodi. First, Desasis, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. I really appreciate that. That's our ninth sub of the day, so we're only one sub away from our next sub goal. And yeah, Caddy, I like Remadi, uh, especially if we're playing more Blood for Bones. I'm kind of thinking that Stitcher Supplier may may mill a lot faster, but yeah, Remadi is certainly a reasonable card. Ooh, a Safara. I hadn't thought about a Safara in this kind of deck. Really, all we need to do is draw, just draw a black mana. You know, if our opponent's playing, like, any kind of aggressive deck, you know, we have turn four Ritual of Soot on the play. I think on the draw, I'd be shipping this, but I think on the play, we can probably keep it, because, like, Ritual of Soot and then, like, Massacre Girl is a decent follow-up. 
Because we're either probably going to draw land or draw enablers. Like, we're probably drawing one of the two. See? Enabler. Cool. Like we played, we played like Jun Cavaliers with like uh, the the Bond Revival and everything at the very beginning of the format. That was a donation deck we had, and yeah, the Remodi Reveler was was very good in that deck. Or is is more focused on Broken Bond. I could just steal this Wild Growth Walker. That didn't seem too necessary, though. No, it was land. Ugh, I, need a, I need one more land. Admiral Kip with a tier 1 sub. Sub number 10 on the day. Let's keep that hype going. Thank you so much, Admiral Kip. But yeah, Wampus, I'd, I'd check that list out. All right, so that means we're going to crack a pack. After this game, y'all remind me. We have Agent of Treason or Nezahal. Neither of those are, like, particularly amazing. I am definitely considering just casting Ritual of Soot. No. We're going to concoct. Well, these cards aren't any good. Watery Grave does help me cast Cavalier of Night. But now we don't need that. Oh yeah, I could just treason steal steal the black source. That's true. We could do get to steal their mana with treason or treachery with agent of treachery. All right, so we have no maximum hand size, and whenever opponents cast non-creature spells, we draw cards. I tater. Thanks, I tatter. Hmm. So we're going to be at twelve. Sorry, I was thinking there. Yeah, that was a good command.
I guess maybe I should have taken a, a land before that. Problem is I have to like sacrifice creatures. Like the I don't want to sacrifice a creature with the blood for bones. I don't really want to sacrifice a creature with this cavalier knight. So at twelve, <clears throat> getting massacre girl to actually like kill stuff. This is gonna be kind of tough. Yeah, this is where we could be using the stitchers. Definitely. Hmm, don't have any basics. Uh, should have kept something in my hand. So I'm dead to a Jade Light Ranger. Attacking the Nissa doesn't make a whole lot of sense though. Cause yeah, like if I attack Nissa with like Ilharg, for example, they just they just block the Ilharg and take seven. Attacking Nissa with both of these doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, because I could and they just take it and still have their three three. We got their three three like no matter what there. Knife doesn't steal the land. It's power two or less, not CMC. So like, I, the only thing I could connive would be the agent of treachery. Harness the elements. Wish I would discard the blood for bones and kept one of these things in my hand, either one. Obviously, we didn't know we we're just gonna be drawing. Three, our next three draws were all going to be more <laughs> reanimation spells, though. We're going to draw three more of those. See if we can if we can draw a big creature to put into play with Ilharg. Ugh. I 
like Dracuseth. Would have liked to be able to draw a big creature and Bond Revival, of course, but... Jeez. So Nezahal just was not very good. Kind of like always. We should have another Drakki Seth. All right, another Ritual, Legion's End, Noxious Grasp. All those cards are awesome. Kind of want to go Dragon God. So I'm thinking about cutting Rotting Registor because we're bringing in another Ritual of Soot and, and because they're just playing like little creatures that can just jump block for a while. Um, yeah, Thought Erasure is just very, very good. No, it is. Yeah, we should we should be playing Thought Razor. <laughs> it's, it's all good, Oslid. Yeah, so this is this is supposed to be just more of a a janky run them over deck and not a not supposed to be real great. The thing is, I see, I see a lot of potential here. The reanimate subtheme, of course, is kind of difficult against. Command the Dread Horde as they take your things, as we saw there. Yeah, I think this is close to a very good deck. Yeah, I agree. Thing. I want a Legion's End that Wild Growth Walker.
Boo. Still boo. I right, get some more black mana in here. Yeah, Ilharg and Agent of Treachery. That is the money. Yeah. Definitely. Never didn't have it. See, the, the blue red land just didn't cast our nickel bolas or our ritual set. I'll just kill this thing now, save three life. That's four life. All right. So I can bring back Treachery and have Treachery steal Branch Walker, or I just sit. We'll just sit. We'll go Dragon God next turn. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. It'll so certainly be bad if they draw. Um, Let your command the Dreadhorde here and then Treachery my Nicol Bolas. That would be the worst. Every story is an opportunity Ooh, that card's good. For new data. I'll take that card. Let me aid your research. Uh, probably not, Lumasi. I will return one day. My intellect is without limit. <laughs> Oh, the problem with putting Dragon God. I'm just going to draw Dragon God, even though it's not even anything I really want. Because I do not want to put it over in the graveyard and, and them get Agent of God. Or, sorry, they, they get the Dragon God. I know I noted this somewhere. Drak you Seth. Yeah, Dragon God was awesome there. But yeah, yeah, Dracky Seth is just is just an incredible card. Don't really know what I'm doing with these cards. 
We are basically seeing if we draw one of our eight two mana cards. Rotting Registrar is in the main deck. I sideboarded it out here. And we drew like one really good card. And then our opponent double duresses us. Ugh. I'm supposed to draw, they're supposed to like double duress me and then I draw the really good card. That's how it's supposed to work. Alright, command the Dreadhorde out of there. Negate out of there. Now we just need to draw land. And then we concoct. And we put some sweet creature into play. What that creature is going to be is unclear. We just need to draw this land. Contact, draw land. Any land will do. That's a land. Alright, what do we got? Dracuseth? Dracuseth's a good one. And we'll just play Massacre Girl next turn. Yeah, we can play Massacre Girl next turn. Or. Or nah. Maybe not. Nah. Dracuseth. And Cox is pretty sweet. Alright, they're searching. No land drop. So they got two spells in hand. Love it. So glad we put the... Let's see, we'll do four and three and three. So glad we didn't keep Masker Girl. Dragon God is just perfect here. I will spare you in exchange yeah, for get rid of something. Servant, a land war elf. I have other plans. My schemes are never ending. <laughs> What's this card? <laughs> yeah, whenever it attacks, you do four damage to something and then three damage to two other things. Ah, uh, they kept the assassin's trophy. I mean, I should attack first before using Nicol Bolas, because otherwise I just get rid of this Jade Light. Four, three. 
Wow, they want that other card still so, that bad? Well, I did find Bond Revival, so if I would have just done that stuff pre-combat, I would have... Or no, because I wouldn't have had the mana to cast Bond Revival. Never mind. So yeah, no. They should really do that during my com like going into combat. All right. So found out that it's not just Unmoored Ego. Like yesterday, Unmoored Ego was like glitching out and then changing my graphic settings. I don't know if y'all notice a difference, but I definitely notice a difference. I think like whenever resolution, yeah, 1440, let's move that back down. Let's move that back down there. We don't want it lagging. All right, back down to 1080. Because, yeah, it was like, ugh, I wish we could play in 1440. It looks so sweet. It looks so clear and everything for on my side. Y'all just see the 1080. But if I keep it there, it, it'll it lag out too much. So I have to move it down to 1080 so it looks a little blurry on my side, at least compared to Yeah, and Cyclobell. Yep, that's yeah. I'll I'll do that after after the league. Um, then I'll talk about different like a how I'd like to see the deck built. Yeah. Yeah, we'll talk about ways to change it up. Cuz I you know, we'll, we'll see if they do anything, but I am not sold at all on Registrar riding Registrar or Stitcher Supplier or, or anything like that. No, Sark and Fireblood would be a good one in this deck. Yeah. Yeah, no, you know, Sarkin, Sarkin Fire, Fireblood's a good one. Uh-oh. Blue counter our stuff decks. They're gonna be pretty tough for us to beat. I don't think I'd want Remadi. I think, I, I think basically Remadi would go with Tormenting Voice. It's like which one do you want, Remadi or Tormenting Voice? Because I, I think you do want Thought Erasure, Charter Course. You definitely want those two. Thought Erasure and Charter Course are the best two. So then after that, do you want Remadi or, or Tormenting Voice? So I'm ditching Tormenting Voice here because this is a pretty bad card to get countered. Tormenting Voice is. You, you do not want to get that countered. Yeah, 
if you play Blood for Bones, then yeah, you want Remodi Reveler. But I, I don't think we should be playing Blood for Bones because I don't think we should have the small creatures. I've been convinced that the small creatures are worth it yet, at least. Oh no, this this blue has a lot of counters. Yeah, this is this is just mono blue that that's what they're filled with is counter spells. So I'd I'd rather have Bond Revival than Ritual of Soot countered. So that's why we're going with that. I'll chump block all this back for Trickster. I don't want to just... Because if you attack into Trickster, then it loses the abilities. You don't get the actual mill. I'll sit back and chump block next turn with it. And this is why I wanted to keep Ritual of Soot. We really want to draw a land here. That'd be ideal. Hmm. That plays around Trickster at least, because you know if I would have gone, they did have Trickster. I was gonna say if I would have gone with Dracu Seth, they could have Trickstered it. I'm not sure how Sire and Storm Tamer works with this, honestly. Guess we're gonna kind of figure out. I guess it would counter the whole ability. Yeah, I think it would counter the whole ability. These aren't gonna do anything. I mean, I guess we could top deck. We could top deck a wrath, though. Golden demise or a set. Nope. Concoct does not give them haste, so bringing back Dracky set doesn't do anything. Oh, I could. I guess I could have. I could have hid Masker Girl though if I would have cast the Concoct. Oh well. It is unlikely that it resolved, and then also unlikely that after it resolved that that we would have hit Massacre Girl, but all well, that was possible. Yeah, these these cards are just aren't gonna impact the game at all. Supplier or Regisaur. You can't be countered, but you're not a not a flyer. What's the card here? Hey, Audio Magics. Agent of Treachery. Later, Siren Storm Tamer. Yeah, we'll get rid of the Treachery.
Yeah, I could see cutting down on tormenting voices too. How are we going to do here? Keep it. Doesn't seem like a very good hand over there. So of course we'll wait, we'll play around the quench. This would be the kind of game that maybe would be able to hard cast track you sets, but they got dubs capture, so trying to hard cast isn't really helping us out too much. And they can they can protect their creature with dive down. Basically, we're just going to have two mana tapped over here. I'm not going to run into this quench. We'll find re reanimate cards eventually. Or something else to do. Ooh, playing the Flash Pirate immediately. Alright, so shield's down. That is impatience right there. I wish I would have kept a Dracuseth in hand now. Could have just cast Dracuseth. Yeah, we can cast this thing next turn. They obviously will just counter it, though. Hmm. We'll just chill. I may have to go to discard here. Alright, main phase trickster to keep 
I'm going to discard. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um. We're doing okay, though. All right, now it's gonna now that put some pressure on us. Oh my gosh. Um. So I could either suit, suit away the two creatures, or I could just cast Dracuseth. I guess it's better to suit away the creatures, because of Dive Down. Hey, what's up, Rug Life? Sometimes you don't choose the rug life, the rug life chooses you. <laughs> Thanks for that resub there. I appreciate that. All right. <clears throat> That's what I get for boarding out Nezahal. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're at 12 mana right now. And JT. Welcome to the stream, the JT. Hope you enjoy all your awesome emotes there. Hmm. Dive down gets the fry. We're going to wait on fry till they tap out or get rid of the dive down or something. Hmm. This is not easy. I guess we'll at least get the dive down out of their hand instead of Storm Tamer. Yeah, I wouldn't even know how to, to set up a Hawkeye sleeping camera. And he's sleeping in like different spots all the time too. But yeah, he's on the couch right now. At least this quench is a dead card. And we got rid of the dive down, so now the golden demise actually works. <laughs> We've ascended. There we go. They probably have a Probably have some other kind of counter spell though, right? Oh, you can't Storm Tamer or Fry? Oh, because Storm Tamer is countered. 
Counters? Okay, right. So yeah, so they're back to having seven cards in hand. So we can wait because they, they'll have to just start discarding. I don't like how fast they put that card on top. I don't like that. Yeah, we're going to have to play through counters, but we could, like, potentially, since they don't have a clock, we could potentially draw, like, a few more cards and be able to play. Oh, hey, I didn't take out Nezal. How about that? I say we could potentially play a few more cards, like, in a row, you know, in one turn instead of just one card in the turn. Does that make sense? So, like, like they're just sitting with, with, like, you know, they had, like, the six cards over there. I could wait till I have, like, a, you know, like, three cards in a row. Hey, what's up, blind? It says, hey, Taki, crushing out there, man. You are the best around. Well, thank you so much there, blind. All right, well, now we can cast a few things. So they're going to have eight mana. I'd like to draw one more spell. <clears throat> I don't really want to cast the creatures. I'd like to have one more spell. That is the perfect spell. That was honestly probably our best draw step. man just resolve I don't, I don't know what the upside was of doing all that They really should have just held on to all those and just spell pierce one at a time. They could have been just fine here. That was not... Not good sequencing by the opponent. They should just, you know, do the spell pierce, see if I pay or not. Unclear if they're gonna like keep in all of those like counter creature kind of card. I'm gonna play Dragon Gods. Play two over over two Tormenting Voices. Ugh. 
I'm going to be trying to, you know, tick up on, like, you know, get Dragon God in play and start ticking up and taking her resources away, of course. So, like, that's that's the goal. But just another... Another spell. Spell. Yeah, definitely going to be hard to win on the draw. Our opponent's hand was not good that game also. Like, the hand they kept was not very good. And, and we had a, a good hand that had... Uh, lots of lots of our card draw and let us just you know sit back and everything like I'm not expecting to win this game I wish I could keep this. This is good. Would I rather have Kefnet or Ritual of Set? I'm not sure, honestly. Let's try Kefnet. Yeah, yeah, New Chandra is pretty slow against Mono Blue, and it only does three damage, so it doesn't even kill Tempest Gin. That's pretty tough. Mindborn Cutthroat, huh? Well, I guess I would have just thought. I I wish I would have just thought Razor. I wasn't. I wasn't really expecting that. Being able to see their hands really nice. Where's that ritual of soot? Alright, we can fry one and thought erasure. Take the trickster. Going with the pay. Man, our life would be a lot better if I would have just kept Ritual of Soda, not Kefnet. <laughs> Going Charter Course Fry is the safer play. Kefnet's the higher upside. I'm gonna go with Kefnet. Wow. 
Wow. Yeah, if I if I would have kept Soot, I think I would have got it Spell Pierce there on the turn four. I think I likely would have played it. There. I'm gonna reset. We haven't I haven't done a reset this whole stream. And that game was really laggy. And yeah, it's been on for over five hours. So I'm gonna be resetting here. Yeah, I likely would have played it in because they, they would have just had the one card, whatever card they just drew off the top that we didn't know about, and they had it set up to still be able to flash in the one drop. I wouldn't have thought, yeah, so I, I honestly probably would have Ritual of Set did. Yeah, I would have. I would have cast Ritual of Set after the Tempest Gen. I think that would have been a good spot for Ritual of Set, and so yeah, we would have gotten it spell pierced. Oh, I already have all my 15 wins. Another 56 hours. Uh, but I want that Mastery Orb. Uh, no, I don't think performance is any better after the patch. I don't think the patch did anything to performance. I think it was just for... The patch was just for changing the mastery system. It didn't do anything to a performance. No, you don't get three packs each Sunday anymore. Now you get... Nice. You technically do, like if you're still in like on the free side, you get, you just basically, you get a XP now. towards mastery progress. I'm not gonna play ritual. I'm not gonna play Registor Alpha right before I play Ritual of Set. So I'm gonna be playing Ritual of Set on four, and then I'm gonna be playing Ilharg on five, and then I want a big creature to put into play with Ilharg. So I'm gonna keep the bells in lock. I guess that's a good creature to put into play. What? Now I wish I would have, obviously now with finding the Boundary Revival, I wish I would have discarded the Ilharg. Would have been able to attack with Ilharg, put it in Dracuseth last turn. Oh right, Dracuseth doesn't trigger. I forgot about that. Doesn't trigger with Ilharg. Because it's only like a when it attacks kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen a locket in Constructed, I don't think. Definitely played a good amount of lockets in Limited. Whoa. That's awesome. I 
I never seen that animation before. I'd never seen an Imperious Great Worm played. That was cool. Why doesn't Rotting Registrar get a cool animation? <clears throat> it's a three mana seven six. I can't even get an animation. Hmm. All right, obviously we're playing Noctis Grass. We're gonna cut the Golden Demise. Let's get a Ritual of Sit in here, get rid of Nessa Hall. I could try just keeping Rotting Registrar and Stitcher Supplier in for a matchup. <clears throat> try getting some more info on them. Still definitely not sold on them at all. We'll give him a try. Hey, Gatsby. A boreal grazer. All right, looking for a bond of revival. The hib. And have cost four mana. Four mana is bad for ritual sets. Inglewood Jax with that resub. Get those hype boats in the chat. Thank you so much, Inglewood Jax. Thanks everybody for getting those hype boats in there. I really appreciate that. So that's sub number 15 on the day. We're getting there. Ow. Oh, I never cracked a pack for that last for the last sub goal, did I? No, I never did. What, Kurtash, you have a huge ice cream? Uh oh. Hmm. Why did things got trample? <clears throat> well, next turn we can Cavalier of Night and kill something. Hmm. That's 13. Even if I double block, I'm still taking lethal. We'll do it. Let's let our opponent get the damage in in case they have a, a damage. Maybe they have like a, a deal whatever damage quest. Let them get that attack in. Alright. Let's bring in some better cards. Supplier, you're out of here. Riding Registrar can at least do some block in. Can block. Blocking's nice. Yeah, that is true. They like Ritual of Soot was great game one, because you know they had like they had like Paradise Druid and uh Gruel Spellbreaker and the Soot was perfect. But that game Soot would it you know, Soot did nothing. I'll try playing Dragon God instead of Soot. This 
a weird looking hand. What lands? Uh oh. Charter course is good at least. Uh oh. Seen six cards and no lands since keeping our two lander. Make that nine cards. Hey, the tenth card. There's a land. Do get plus X plus zero, where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. I guess I could have connived that Rubble Belt Rioters. So I could revival back Ilharg. Bill Harg put Cavalier of Night into play. Clear eyes with the sub. Full hearts over here. Thank you so much, clear eyes. Sub number 16 on the day. Y'all are amazing. Thank you very much. action man so many hype in the chat y'all are awesome i mean i gotta play it I gotta play it now we're just not gonna have a hand though can you kill one of my registers please These registers have killed me. Discarded like 10 cards. I 
And this this is where we'll start drawing all of our lands now. <laughs> You know, we win so many cards without a land, now we're going to just draw a million lands in a row. Okay, so what are we bringing back? Just Drac you, Seth? Yeah. Alright, so four to this thing, three to that, three to that. Yeah, all right, so the reason why our opponent wasn't playing these spells is because they can't. With Nikia in play, they can, they cannot cast non-creature spells. So that's why, if you're wondering why our opponent wasn't playing their stuff, they couldn't. Well, they probably <laughs> should have attacked first, and then Riot, and then Shaman could have had a six power creature. Four, three, three. All right, GGs. We are two and one now. It feels like we've played a whole lot more than just being two and one right now with the deck. All right, let's grab a pack. As we talked about, we're getting our first sub gold. Never, never end up doing that. So let's do that. Icon of Ancestry. That was a really hyped up rare. During preview season. <laughs> yeah, the, the Zombiesar, yeah, the Zombiesar did, I mean, I guess it really was why it won, wasn't it? The Zombiesars did, did a lot of blocking. We got everything we need here. All we, well, besides a reanimation spell. And there we go. Perfect. Now we'd like to have some kind of interaction here on turn three or turn four. Feather. Yeah, between the Risen Reefs and Flash decks, there is so much blue-green. Blue-green just everywhere now.
Well, Trout, of course, at least got rid of some uh, some lands for us. Wow. Really? Wow. Our opponent does not know what Bond Revival does. See, like, we have the Dracuseth in the graveyard. Five mana is, like, the turn that you get it back. They just... Just kind of gave this to us. It was just perfect. They, they obviously just were not expecting that to happen. <laughs> oh no, opponent's going to uninstall? No. Yeah, I think that's what you can refer to. I think, I think that's referred to as a blowout. I think that's the common vernacular. Hmm. Well, both Noxious Grasp and Fry both hit Feather. This card's good. This one's good. That one's okay. This one's good. These not good. These not good. Which means this not good. Um... Blackwork John! Here to watch Todd win games of magic because I've forgotten how to. Aw. Thanks for the sub there, Clockwork John. I'm gonna get rid of Vilas. Villas. All right, let's give this a try. Oh man, nearly almost 100% loss streak after hitting diamond last time. You'll get there. Just gotta stay positive. Just gotta keep on, keep on uh, thinking about like what's what's going wrong. What can you do to fix it, kind of thing, and you know you'll get there. Magic's a tough game. See if I regret getting rid of that land. Uh, 
All right, kind of regret getting rid of that land. So I need this fifth land, but I also need, you know, something to do. So I guess we'll just ditch the land. We did put a Nezahal down to the bottom on the scry. Yeah, not, nothing in here right now. Even with casting a charter course of Tormenting Voice and a couple Thought Erasures, haven't found anything yet. We're almost there. You know, think about, like, we, we board in three Nickel Bolas Dragon Gods. Think about how good of a draw that would be. Ooh, Kefnet. I'm not good. That was a good draw. Oh yeah, is it Phoenix is a really tough one to pilot. Um That, that deck's been around, though, for a while, basically since, you know, Guilds of Ravnica. So there's been a lot of guild, or, sorry, guides written to that deck. So I would, I would certainly be looking up uh, guides to guides to the deck, if you can. So keep scrying to the top. I'm going to Noxious Grasp this Legionnaire. We'll see if they if they were scrying a creature, or maybe it was another protection spell. Looks like it was some kind of pump spell. It was. Oh, really? Blue White Flyer is again pretty popular? Victory. Three and one. Three and one. So do I shock in to play Supplier on turn one? Nah. Yeah, Gabrielle, yeah, all the all the leagues I play are uploaded to YouTube. Yep. Yeah, they're they're always up there. They get up. They go up about forty-five minutes or so after I get done with the league. Uh, you know, it takes time for for the videos to process on YouTube and stuff. But yeah, I, I upload them immediately. Yeah, we could just discard the supplier. We'll see what we draw here. So I think. No, I, I think I like the Sultai one more than this version, I think. Yeah, I, I think I like Sultai more. I don't think the red adds a lot for you. Where green gives you Tamiyo. I don't know. I really like having Dragon God in the sideboard, though. I think that's an awesome, awesome sideboard card. I do really like that. And then, you know, you do get to actually cast your Dracusets. 
Why is that an 3 Why does that have three toughness? Yeah, Tamio Tamio just digs really, really hard. Milled over just a whole bunch of lands. We never, we haven't seen the broken bond or bond of the bond of revival. Yeah, we haven't seen a bond of revival yet, so that's good. Hmm. We did mill over one soot. So there's only one other set left in the deck. But as we see here with these games, these these stitcher suppliers just aren't really even worth a, a card. You know, like they don't they don't ever get an entire card's worth of value. So they shouldn't be in our deck. Um, John gives you some good stuff too. I think, I think I do prefer, okay, I don't know how our opponent's getting rid of, getting rid of Risen Reef. I don't know what, what they're doing that they think that getting rid of, rid of Risen Reef will be good. This could come back to bite me if we draw a Broken Bond. Ugh. Wow. Three great cards to draw. Wow. That really hurt. For the most part, I've been enjoying the control deck, the control reanimator decks that, that we've kind of had here with, you know, like removal, sweepers, interaction, discard, all that kind of stuff to start with. And then... And like they just have the reanimate cards in them, you know, they just just have Draki Seth, Bond of Revi Bond of Revival and stuff. It was good to try out Stitcher Supplier, but man, that card has been horrendous. It's good to try it out, though. Looks like Command the Dreadhorde from our opponent. We'll just take all my stuff. Uh, Hostage Shaker also take all my stuff. Now they're just looking at the cards in my graveyard.
All right. Let's not draw these things ever again. Get rid of these, get rid of this. Yes, please, yes, please. Yes, yes. And I guess Cavalier of Knights not really playable since I've taken out the, the small creatures. Should I play Vilas over any of these other things? Yeah, yeah, Neza Hall doesn't do anything. Get in here, Vilas. Well, the whole... Okay, so you say Riding Registrars hold the fort until you get the combo rolling. You you do have to discard a card every single turn, so it makes it a lot harder to, to you know, make land drops and, and, and everything. And plus, I, I'm, I don't know, I'm bringing in Ritual of Soots. I like all these Ritual of Soots. I don't really like... I don't like Riding Registrar and Ritual of Soot together. But, yeah, like the... When if you need to buy time to get combo rolling, discarding a card every single turn is not ideal. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we've had eighteen. Yep. Yeah, sub count's accurate. Yeah, if it, the eighteen on the day. That's good. Also, shaker is annoying. We have two gifted subs. Thank you so much from Clockwork John. Santa John. Everybody get your hype boats out there. Get your Santa emotes. So Zaiju and Double O Eskimo. Getting those gifted subs. Hope y'all enjoy them. And it's going to be time for us to crack another pack here. We hit another sub goal. So that means we are... We're really close to doing another 12 hour stream. Um, that is sub goals number. Fifteen and sixteen. Out of twenty. So we got five mana right now. If I discard a land, we have five mana still. I'm gonna do that. I may cast this Dracu Seth. Why not Kefnet? Because they just hostage take it. Oh, wait. Hostage taker isn't even good against Kefnet. I forgot. I, I just didn't consider about like the Kefnet, uh, you know, thing, putting it back on top. Sleepy Aussie. There you go, John. Yeah, you karma farming to get yourself up the ladder. There you go. I'm, I'm actually pretty glad we kept the, dra the Drakti set, though, and ditched a land, because otherwise we would just have two lands in hand. So 
So yeah, we'll just put this back. And now next turn we can just cast the Maw of Flames. A not super expensive deck to climb with. Um, I'm not sure. It would probably be like blue green. Honestly, it'd probably be like blue green ramp. Like, you just have to have like Nissa's as rares and like crasis's as mythics basically and you know you just play like your mana creatures you can have like risen reefs that are uncommons and everything i guess you probably want like mass manipulations also as rares but not you know it wouldn't be i think that'd be somewhere to go where it's not just like tons and tons of rares and mythics and that Blue green deck, not much of it's rotating. Like, like none of those cards I said are rotating. But yeah, if you want, if you want real, like, you know, you do have the dual lands there that you'd probably want to get. Uh, if you want to go even, you, you could substitute. You want you want the shock lands, but you could substitute the other ones. Get like some tap lands, some gain life lands. But yeah, you could also go with like the mono color decks. Mono blue seems to be seems to be doing really good. A lot of people are playing mono blue right now. That's certainly a cheap deck. The only rares in that deck are like rotating out though. Yeah, it's it's worth it to spend the wild cards on rare on lands though. At least at least the four shock lands. If you don't want to get like these these buddy lands and use some tap lands, that's you know that your deck will be worse, but that's okay. Hmm. They took. I think they kind of took the wrong card. I mean, I I can't cast this, but I could cast tormenting. Like my hand is reliant on tormenting voice here. I'm just worried about. I'm worried about Command the Dread Horde. <clears throat> I think if we if we change up the deck, you know, especially like putting like Thought Razor's main and stuff, we can free up more sideboard slots, um, and be able to have, you know, like on more ego to be able to take. Command the Dread Horde, so you just don't have to worry about Command the Dread Horde, because that's like the, that's like one thing that's like really, really scary. Um, uh, yeah, if you kind of stick around, Soro, like the the Leyline Ascendancy deck, or if you just take a look at that one on on uh, in decks there that Caddy Wampus just put a link to, um, that's like a good starting point that that you'd be able to switch out stuff. Like, you wouldn't want Simic Ascendancy and... or, like, the green ley line and stuff, but that's, like, a, a good place to start. Kind of thing. I, I'll... I can, uh... Whenever we get to that deck, I can point out some ways to make it more budget-friendly. Yeah, Doom Whisper is a pretty good one.
I just went with the Vilas here. <clears throat> so it's possible they like hostage take, they like go hostage taker, and then I want to bond revival the Draki Seth. Or if they, yeah, if they command the Dread Horde, they don't get to like. It's a pretty tough block for them. Well, we got to hit them before they got to command the Dread Horde. And we are four and one. And we are going to... Hey, thanks Impossible is nothing. We are going to our final boss. So let's, let's get our final boss playlist out here. Get those final boss emotes in the chat. Thanks, Kurtash. Here we go. So either we win and we get to five, or we lose and we don't. Oh, let's get some more luck. We just hit our second sub goal. Let's crack a pack. Oh, well, we get hyped up for our final boss. Let's crack a pack. Come on, Mythic. Mythic! Awesome. Take any Mythic over any like any of the rares. Just for collection's sake, we just need mythics. Perfect. Gotta get that good luck. So yeah, Impossible is nothing said. You're the only MTG Twitch channel I watch and sub to your channel on YouTube. Keep doing what you're doing. Great content. Huh? Yeah, thanks for the kind words. Thank you very much. Glad you're enjoying the channel and everything. All right, here we go. Yeah, I do scream mythic during every pack. So eventually, eventually I'm psychic. I am trying to get mythics in all the packs. This'll do. Get this tormenting voice. Hey, impossible is nothing. Getting that gifted sub from Santa John. There you go, impossible is nothing. Now you get to use all of our awesome emotes and chat here too. Thanks, Clockwork John. Clockwork John, thank you. Y'all are awesome. So if I update our panel. We've now hit 16 sub goals, so four more sub goals, and I'm doing a 12 hour stream. Raptosaurus! Hmm. This ritual soot isn't going to do anything, but we'll have time to discard the ritual soot to the charter courses. Welcome to the channel, Raptosaurus. And thanks to all the current subscribers that are getting all the hype boats in here celebrating all of these new subscribers. Thank you all very much. Yeah, I thought for sure they were going to be taking the tor tormenting voice. Oh, hey, well, Ritual Set may do something. We already got a Jackie Seth in the graveyard. I'll just ditch a land. Oh, this could be a mirror match, yeah. Yeah, they could be Grixis 
reanimate. When am I supposed to actually set this thing away? It's probably not yet, right? Hawkeye. Get him, Dracky Seth. Get him. Now that's a dragon. Oh no. Mirror match. Uh. Hmm. We can force them to block. Do four, three, three. So they, they don't get the trigger. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be discarding the ritual of set. Hey, Timido. Yeah, Reggie did something. Made me discard my ritual, so that's what it did. The final boss is the mirror match. All right, mirror match time, huh? I don't want any of these cards in. I have to play one of these cards. I don't I don't want any of them in my deck. But this is only 59. So legions and I guess what kills what kills that 1/3? I guess this thing kills the 1/3. All right, we'll fry. I'll get a second fry. I don't want this cavalier 9 in my deck either. All right, we got two fries. Kill the one threes. <laughs> Todd versus Shadow Todd. Yep, the final boss is the mirror match. Greatest enemy is ourself. Mulligan. So I'd like to draw a shock land. Thank you.
Boo. All right, yeah, we got this. Two Bonder Revival? Of course. Yeah, Tyrant Scorn getting that bounce. Pretty solid, I agree. Ugh. Ugh. Yuck. That's not good draw. Yeah, we wanted to get to land and start taking this thing up, make the make them exile things. When do I actually fry this Kefnet? I'll let them draw. They're not going to reveal it. Yeah, so we need we need a 25th land in this deck, that's for sure. More Kefnets. Yeah, we might get the five win dream. Is Nezahal worth it? No. Nope. Ow. Alright, well, we're going to game three, though. I kept the two lander. We drew the shock land, you know, after scrying. We drew that shock land for our first draw. And then it was like another 10 or so draws. Didn't see another land. <sighs> we just have too many unplayable cards. Uh, I don't even know if I really want Nicol Bolas's here in this matchup. Just got too many between these. One ones and everything. Okay, we'll see. If, we'll see if this time we draw lands. That's a good draw. Oh my gosh. There's no lands, except for right on top. That's where the land's at. Nope. Yay. Lich would be awesome to connive, but I'm just not sure that's going to work for us. See, like, I don't, I don't want to discard these cards. Thank you.
think what my opponent maybe should be doing is waiting waiting till upkeep, waiting for the discard trigger. Like I can't I can't actually play Rotting Registaur here, right? I guess we'd have to discard Dr Dragon God. Maybe I discard Dragon God. But then if we like if we don't draw a land and we just draw something else we want to play, then we play like that other thing, you know, like a Thought Erasure or whatever. And then then we're sitting with Bond Revival as our only card, and so then we have to discard Bond Revival. And it's just It's just not worth it. I'm glad we didn't play the, the Rotting Registaur, because otherwise, yeah, we would have had to discard that card. But even though we did, it did eat a gate, but... I forgot Masker Girl was in my deck. That card shouldn't be in here. My students are loyal genius. <laughs> that card's not doing anything. Drawing good, at least. Kefnet's great. It's not Bond Revival good. Ugh. No, opponent's drawing great, too. Yeah, we got rid of their Bond Revival. Yeah, and then we drew Bond Revival. Mirror match. Mirror match. Don't do it. Do they do it? I mean, we're at five, so if they draw Bond Revival, I'm dead. Did they do it? No, they did it! No! They had back-to-back -back Bond Revivals on top. No. No, we died. We died. I know 88 ways to defeat you. Pick one. Ah, oh, so close. Man. I thought we had it too. Oh. Well, we died. Great. Uh, yeah. Great last match, though. That was awesome. That was cool. GG's opponent. Yeah, this is the f the the 
you died screen music on Final Fantasy VII. So yeah, what I would like to change about this deck is, as y'all know, I don't want Supplier Routing Registrar. We wanted to try them out and everything, but they just not they're just not worth it. Tornado Voice was definitely good. Thought Erasure should just be in here. Uh, th that means the Blood for Bones, Cavalier of Night should definitely be gone. Um, let's see, you want more? Let's see, more uh, cheaper interaction also. I liked... Um, yeah, we don't need Nezzle Hall. I think I like Kefnet. Like two Kefnets. Just having Kefnets is just a strong card. Uh, the Tyrant Scorn. Definitely a good card. I like that. Playing a couple of those. I'm not sold on the Concoct. Yeah, I want some Ravagers. Just, you know, make it like a, a regular kind of deck. All right, Kurtash, have a good one. All right, we'll go back to the regular stream playlist. Uh, thanks impossible is nothing yeah i yeah i absolutely loved the uh that green white deck but yeah that was that was a great match that was that was one of my best on camera that was a good one yeah and now since we since we took out cry of the car since we took out uh the one drop now we can play cry of the canarium instead of golden demise We should just have all the Dracu sets in here. I'm not really sold on. I don't know Ilharg. I'm not I'm not sure about like Ilharg, Violus, Agent of Treachery, some of these other things. Bells and Lock, definitely not Bells and Lock. Nothing better to get. I mean, Cavalier Gales is good. But that is triple blue. Dream Eater is not bad. Yeah, I mean, Doom Whisper is just a good card. Get Doom Whisper in here over this Masker Girl. Put the Masker Girl on the sideboard. I could see playing Rekindling Phoenix. I could see doing that. Nah, we're not playing Rakdos. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you could go full on Ilharg Tetsamok. That's always a good one. Niv Mizzet. Is that a cyborg card we could play? I guess we do need another land in here. Which should be a swamp. There's no mythic lands. This deck does need another land, though. Ooh. Eldest Reborn's interesting.
Bedevil main deck for big critters and planeswalkers. Does kill planeswalkers. This this can like get rid of big creatures in a pinch, you know, with like the return. Bounce back to hand, but I don't I don't hate Bedevil though. I could see Bedevil being better. The devil's not a basic land. I could see that. We already got these 12 things to be doing on, on turn two. I like that. I definitely really, really like the sideboard Nickel Bowl's Dragon God plan against removal decks whenever they're trying to interact with like your graveyard and all this stuff. So as we were talking about, I think we want like two on Mordigo for the Command the Dread Horde decks and for Nexus, because otherwise we're, we're just not beating Nexus. And then, yeah, we need some sideboard duress. How does this look? This looks pretty good. Tombbound Lich, I, I, yeah, I did like Tombbound Lich, but I'm not convinced that that it's still worth that it's that's worth the slot. I mean, I, I like the card, but I don't, I'm not convinced that it's one of the best 75 to be playing. Like, I, it would be basically like this deck. You know, we get Tormenting Voice kind of instead of like where the Lich would be going is like where the Tormenting Voice is. Yeah, we could have. Yeah, we could definitely have like moment of craving in the sideboard if if mono red is a problem. I haven't seen that much mono red, but yeah, that's that's certainly an option. Could replace Legion's End, but I, I like the Legion's End. Uh, right now, our plan, of course, is you know just trying to to combo pretty quickly against mono red. Um, but like Kefnet, Doom Whisper, Illharg, these are all like good big blockers, and you know you have like your Cry of the Carnariums and Ritual of Soots against them. Yeah. Red Cavalier is nice, especially in a really long game, but I don't, I don't think I want Red Cavalier over like Ilharg, just cause triple red basically. If, if Red Cavalier wasn't triple red, I would, I would be playing it over Ilharg. I'm. I don't really like the triple red, and and Ilhar can definitely like you know you can have like your big creatures just in your hands, uh, for Ilhar. Even putting in like Nickel Bolas the Ravager is pretty sweet. You know like make them discard, put it back in your hand. Obviously the Agent of Treachery is really nice. There. But yeah, Ilhar, uh, Connive. These cards are. Uh, and Agent of Treachery like these are cards that are. Probably like the weaker ones that may be on the chopping block kind of thing. Um, yeah, I could I could definitely see playing just two Doom Whisperers instead of Ilhargs. Like Doom Whisperer is pretty nice. That's flying, flying school. That that's something I would want to I would want to at least try this out first, you know, before just getting rid of Ilharg. I'm willing to try Ilharg some more. Ilharg was was pretty decent for us. But yeah, you can you can Ilharg in yeah. Yeah, if you have like your seven mana, you can attack you can Ilharg in your, your Ravager and then just spend your seven mana and flip your Ravager and not have to actually cast Ravager and everything. Yeah. So this is so yeah, our our deck felt pretty good and you know, mostly after a sideboarding all the time, but this could this could help out a lot. Uh Having Tormenting Voice was definitely nice, like to to go along with Chart of Course for a lot of velocity uh, in the deck. Um, it was definitely good there. But yeah, that's what I'd recommend here for the Grixis Reanimator. Uh, very nice uh, donation deck here. Thank you, Oslin, for this one. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Uh, let me know what you think of these changes and everything like that. 
But that's it here for Grixis Reanimator. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you for another video.